You know, Gainesville's a pretty cool place to go to school and also a great place to live. There's some great stuff to do. There's great restaurants and clubs downtown, beautiful parks and museums, and plenty of tree-lined streets where you can walk or bike. Like many of you, when I first arrived in Gainesville, my head was filled with important questions like, when does the bus run? And can I recycle this? But I'm here to take you on this information journey to your new home city. That's right, you're now from Gainesville. First off, let's talk about how you're going to get around Gainesville. If you have a car, you can pretty much go wherever you want to go. You just might not be able to park there. Of course, you could always take a chance and risk getting towed and facing a nice $90 fine. I always like finding out which tow company got me, finding out where they're located, getting a friend to give me a ride down there, then talking to the real friendly faces that work there, then paying the fine. Don't take your chance. For example, you definitely shouldn't park here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. In fact, most places near campus in downtown have some kind of parking restriction. Most require you to pay for a metered spot, while others won't let you park there until after a certain hour. So be careful. Downtown Gainesville also offers parking garages like the one I'm in, but they also require you to pay for spots. Most business parking lots are okay too, but again, watch out. Sometimes it is pretty hard to tell. Many apartment buildings also have parking restrictions. Most allow visitor parking spots for you to park in in case you're not a resident. Some even require that you have a temporary parking pass and then park in the visitor spaces. Many neighborhoods near campus also require parking decals, which can be picked up here at the Thomas Center, located on Northeast 6th Avenue. If the parking situation has you down, or you simply don't have a car, you can always take the bus. Gainesville has a wonderful bus system, but it works best if you know how to use it. Each bus route has its own separate schedule. Some run until 7 at night, others run until 11 p.m. There's also the later Gator bus route, which runs on restricted routes from 8.30 at night till 3 in the morning. This is the route map for RTS. You can pick it up on any city bus. Here are the route numbers, the bus's route, and down here is the schedule for each route. You should get to your stop a couple minutes earlier, but for the most part, they come when they're supposed to. For more information, please visit www.go-rts.com. Bikes are also a great alternative transportation around Gainesville, but traffic laws still apply, including stop signs. And it's always embarrassing to get pulled over by a bike cop. But they're also dangerous driving around at night, so make sure you have your lights on when riding. Now that you know how to get around, let's take a look at some places you might have to go to for some government affairs. First off, let's take a look at the DMV. It's located on the northern edge of town. Just head up Northwest 13th Street for a bit and you'll see it right behind the State Trooper Station. Take a left onto 121 and there you go. The DMV provides driver's licenses and ID cards. The Alachua County Administration Building, located on Southeast 1st Street downtown, is the functional seat of county government. Inside you'll find the tax collector who gives out license plates, the property appraiser, and the supervisor of elections. The Alachua County Commission also meets here inside this building. They usually meet here on Tuesdays to discuss the business of county governance. You can also register here to vote. To provide us some more details on how to register to vote, here's the Supervisor of Elections, Pam Carpenter. Hi, welcome to the city of Gainesville. As a new citizen of Alachua County, you may want to change your voter registration here. We encourage you to come by our office, pick up a voter registration application and fill it out. Or these are also available on campus and at businesses around town. We also encourage you to update your address with us if you are already registered here in Alachua County. If you have any questions about your voter registration, don't hesitate to give us a call. And welcome again to Alachua County. You can also visit us on our website, www.elections.alachua.fl.us. Also downtown is the main Alachua County Library. Although UF and Santa Fe offer their own libraries, Alachua County has several locations for which you can find pretty much any book, CD, or movie that you may need. If you're looking to deal with Gainesville Regional Utilities, their building is also located downtown. They provide water, gas, electricity, and some internet services to Gainesville. Another important way to conserve natural resources in Gainesville is through recycling. Here's how you do it. 
First, make sure you separate all your plastics, glass, and cans from your paper and cardboard products. But remember, not everything's recyclable. Some commonly mistaken items include pizza boxes, cereal boxes, plastic bags, and styrofoam. Also, make sure you remember to remove your bottle tops before taking out your recycling. For more information, please visit cityofgainesville.org backslash recycles. Also, if you live in an apartment complex and you feel that they do not have adequate recycling services, make sure they implement a plan and then notify all residents. If you're moving into a dorm on campus, I'm sure you've heard a lot about the importance of fire safety, but this cannot be stressed enough. Fire safety is a much more important issue for people moving into dorms and apartment buildings than it is for a single family home. It takes just one neglected candle or electric grill or an overstressed power outlet to put everyone's property and lives in jeopardy. I'm sure it may be funny to see your next door neighbor running down the street in flames, but it's not worth losing your stuff over. You've waited your whole life to live on your own without the supervision of your parents. Congratulations, you've made it to college. Now welcome to the real world where over 2,500 fires occur nationwide in dorms alone. Here are some simple tips to protect you and all the new stuff you just purchased for your dorm or apartment. First, verify the smoke detectors are working. This is what is going to give you those precious seconds to get out before the thick black smoke overcomes you. Second, know at least two ways out of each room. Your second exit may be a window, but always try the door first. Third, the leading cause of fires among college-age adults is kitchen fires. Never leave food unattended while cooking. Speaking of unattended, never leave light a candle unless you will be awake and in the room at all times while it is burning. If you smoke or allow others to smoke in your apartment, provide wide-mouthed ashtrays or water cups to extinguish the butts. And if you plan to grill, make sure you place the grill at least 10 feet away from the building before lighting it. Finally, for your protection, it's a good idea to purchase renter's insurance. It costs about $150 a year, but in the unfortunate event of a fire or other disaster, your recovery will be much smoother. For more fire safety information, visit the Gainesville Fire Rescue website at gfr.org. Enjoy the Freedom College break, but remember, fire safety is important now, before the fire starts. Although Gainesville is a very safe city, you should probably take some precautions. For instance, if you're walking around campus at night alone, you should always consider getting a ride from SNAP, which stands for Student Nighttime Auxiliary Patrol. They are on call 24 hours a day and can pretty much pick you up anywhere on campus. However, if an incident does seem to befall you around campus, you should always be within running distance to one of these blue emergency poles. Press this red button and you'll receive help immediately. Gainesville is also a college town, so there are such illegal activities as underage drinking. Many people before you have tried to use fake IDs to get into local bars and pubs. Don't. It doesn't work and you'll probably get the cops called on you. Remember, bar owners can also get in trouble for serving to illegal minors. Also, the Gainesville Police Department has a program called the Party Patrol. Their job is to monitor noise complaints and also loud parties that can be heard easily from 200 feet away, which in actuality isn't that loud. Also, make sure your friends don't drink if they're under 21, and certainly make sure they don't drive home. They are your friends, right? You should look out for them. We like to welcome you to our city, but let you know, we are a city and we do have crime, and the best way to fight crime is to take an active stance against it. Um, as far as property crime, which is one, of our, is one of our number one concerns, we ask people, do the simple things. Lock your doors, shut your windows, leave lights on in your apartment or home when you're not there. Um, when you go out at night and you're in your car, please take your valuables out of plain view. It's amazing. So many of our, our crimes are just because people leave their doors and windows open. Um, if you'll do that for us, we'll go a long way at keeping you safe and keeping your property with you. For students coming into Gainesville, I think one of the most important things to realize is this is probably your first time away from home, and we're going to do everything we can as a police department to keep you safe. We're going to ask you to also do some certain things. There are laws against underage drinking. In Gainesville, we do enforce them, uh, quite honestly, we enforce them very hard. We have officers in a specialized unit, the downtown unit, and as well as 1700 West University that go out every night and that they actively patrol for underage drinking. Usually we will give you a citation, which is called a notice to appear, but sometimes you could be placed under arrest. So we would tell people, please obey the laws. We do enforce them and it's something that we look for. Well, that about does it. I hope this information helps you as you get to know Gainesville for the first time. So get out there and show us what you're made of. After all, in Gainesville, anything's possible.